Hello Internet and welcome to the Beginner Tutorials Drone Flying Show. Flying drones, or as known in the hobby, quadcopters or multi-rotors, are super super fun and extremely rewarding. Uh, the one thing that I've found though is that it is really difficult to start out with because there is a little bit of learning. Fear not though, as soon as you master the basics, it gets really simple to start flying your quadcopter easily. I recommend buying a lower end ready to fly or RTF quadcopter to start out with and a small one that you can fly indoors. The 107 Hubson X4 is my go-to when I'm recommending uh, a first time copter to people. But I have put cheaper um, drones or quadcopters in the links that are good starters. I'd like to take a moment to talk about uh, prop guards. They are very good when you're buying a small one but terrible when you're using a bigger one the small ones I recommend you should start anyway indoors and the prop guards on the small ones will keep your walls from getting scuffed but the big ones um, affect your flying they uh, wear down your battery time and they also will stick in trees and you're gonna crash which brings me to first step in flying pies be patient you will crash it's gonna happen that's why I recommend inside because it's better to crash inside than outside in somewhere you can't get to and lose your drone. The next step you want to do is to calibrate the uh, accelerometers and the gyros on your drone. Uh, they are different for everyone. The Hubson X4 you push the left stick in the bottom right and then the right stick back and forth until it flashes then you're good to go. Uh, just look it up on Google. If you're not using a Hubson, everything it'll be in the instructions. You'll you'll see it, and it's always a good thing, first thing to start with. And while it's not very sexy or fun, the next thing you have to do is trim your uh, drone in. And this is what every single professional FPV flyer starts out with. From the very top, it's you want to get in the habit of doing this right away before you even attempt to fly. Uh, and the trim is basically done with every single transmitter being the same. The yaw is the switch under the left stick horizontally. You adjust it if whenever your quadcopter takes off it twists left or right. You want to click it in the opposite direction that it's twisting. The roll or aileron button is under the right stick horizontally. You use it if your quad, when taking off, strafes to the left or to the right. And whichever way it's uh, rolling or uh, strafing, you push opposite. For example, right now the quad is rolling to the left, so I will land it and push the roll trim button to the right a few clicks. The button vertically on the left side is the throttle button. You use this to adjust to make your throttle have more response or less. This is the least used of the buttons that you're going to be using with the trim. Next comes the most important one. The vertical button on the right stick is your pitch elevator button. This controls if it's drifting forwards or drifting backwards. Once you get the hang of trimming in your quadcopter, as I'm doing here, uh, you'll see it's listing forwards and slightly to the left. So I click it back a couple times, the uh, elevator or pitch button on the right side, vertical, and then one or two clicks uh, on the roll button, which is the horizontal button on the right side. Uh, and also, if you look at your controller, all but the very lowest end of quadcopters usually on the controller will have little graphs that show you where your trims are and how close to center they are you can actually uh, just try and do it by view but it's easier to just sort of trial and error it and it doesn't take much time maybe have 30 seconds once you've got it really dialed in so this brings me to the next step of you're about ready to fly uh, but before you want to try and go flying all around your room you want to master hovering in front of you hovering is all a very subtle system of moving the sticks and it translates to every single quad or hexcopter or any um, of the type of drones that are out there and it's all about kind of counteracting what your drone's doing so you want to watch it and if it's going forward a little bit just slightly 
make it push back or if it's going to the left then push it to the right and you really want to practice getting that movement to where you can really have it hovering in place in front of you that will make it way way easier and you'll have total control when you actually start flying around uh, it's important to keep in mind you want to keep your uh, bearings with in regards to which way your quadcopter is pointed because that makes a difference so I always try and have it starting with it pointing straight forward straight in front of me and I actually try and start when I'm learning a, uh, a quadcopter to keep it that way and adjust my yaw adjust my roll and all that um, and then just keep going and going until you're ready to sort of branch out and get a little crazy most important is to just practice, 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 and don't get discouraged. Um, every time you burn up a battery, plug that sucker in, and then when it's ready to go, give it another run. Uh, the more runs you do, the faster you're going to get better, and the faster you get better, the more runs you're going to want to do. Have fun out there. Happy quadcopter flying.